headers and footers. A header or footer is text or graphics such as a page number, the date or a company logo that is usually printed at the top or bottom margin of each page in a document. They give identification to a page while accessing the document. A header is the text that appears at the top margin of every page, while footer is the text that appears at the bottom margin of every page. How to insert header and footer? Follow these steps to insert a header and a footer in MS Word 2007 document. Click on Insert tab, Header and Footer group. Click on the Header drop-down list and select the style of your choice. The header area is displayed as a dotted line. The cursor appears in the header region. A new tab, Design will open when the cursor is in the header area. You can enter the desired text in a header area. You can also change the alignment and the position of the header. Click on the footer drop-down list in the Insert tab to insert a footer. Now, the cursor will blink in the footer area of the document. Select a style from the page number drop-down in the header and footer group of the Insert tab to insert page numbers in the document. Click on Close Header and Footer option in the Closed group of the Design tab. Footnotes and End Notes Footnotes and End Notes in MS Word are used for adding notes, comments, or to provide references for text in a document. In general, footnotes are detailed comments and printed at the bottom of a page to give extra information about something that has been written on the page. On the other hand, the end notes are for citation of sources and are given at the end of the document. A footnote or an end note has two parts, the note reference and the corresponding note text. The note reference can be a number or some character referring to a specific location in the main text. These notes are separated from the main text by a separator line. Inserting a footnote or an end note. A few steps are followed to insert a footnote or an end note. In your MS Word 2007 document, click on the position where you want a reference for the note to be added. Click on References tab, Footnotes group, Insert Footnote option. A footnote will be added. Click on the Footnote and End Note dialog box launcher in the Footnotes group of the Insert tab to open the Footnote and End Note dialog box. To create a footnote, click on the Footnotes option and for the End Note, click on the End Notes option in the location section. It can even be formatted. You can select the location of footnotes and endnotes from the respective drop-down lists in the location section. You can also format the numbering and choose to apply the changes to the whole document or a particular part of it using the options in Format and Apply Changes section respectively. Now, click on Insert. A note reference appears at the position where you clicked on the document. You can now add the note text and then scroll to the next position in the document where you want to insert a footnote or an end note. Drop Cap Drop Cap is a feature provided by MS Word in which the first character of the paragraph is bigger and dropped on the subsequent lines of the paragraph to mark the beginning of the paragraph as used here. You can use this feature while writing stories. Follow these steps to use Drop Cap feature of MS Word 2007. In the Word 2007 document, 
Click on the position where you want to add the drop cap feature. Click on Insert tab, Text group, Drop cap drop down list. Select the dropped option from the drop down list. Click on Drop cap options from the drop down list. The drop cap dialog box opens. Select the desired font of the drop letter from the font drop down list in the options section. Select the desired option from the lines to drop list. Increase the distance between the text and the drop letter with the help of distance from text list. Click on OK. Decimal tab. With this kind of tab stop, fractional figures are aligned in such a way that all the decimal points are vertically aligned. Deleting tab stop. Select each tab and drag it towards the document to delete tab stops. Let us create a list of friends to understand this concept. To create this list, a few steps need to be followed. These are Select the left tab from the tab selector. Place on the left side of the ruler. Click at the desired position on the horizontal rulers to define the location of the left tab. Type name. Now, select the right tab from the tab selector. Click at the desired position on the horizontal rulers to define the location of the right tab. Bring the cursor to name and press the tab key. Write class. Select the center tab from the tab selector. Click at the desired position on the horizontal ruler to define the location of the center tab. Bring the cursor to class and press the tab key. Write roll number. Now, select the decimal tab from the tab selector. Click at the desired position on the horizontal ruler to define the location of the decimal tab. Bring the cursor to roll number and press the tab key. Write marks. Move to the new line and type the values of each column. Move to the next column using tab key. Once the list is completed, delete tab stop. Columns MS Word allows the user to display the data in the form of vertical columns in the same way as it appears in a newspaper. Already created document can also be converted into columns. How to make columns in MS Word 2007? Select Page Layout tab, Page Setup Group, Columns, drop-down list and select the column style of your choice. For choosing more column styles, select More Columns option. The Columns dialog box opens. In the Presets section, select the desired number of columns, say 3, with the help of the Number of Columns list. To give equal width between the three columns created, click to tick the Equal Column Width checkbox in the Width and Spacing section. If Equal Column Width checkbox is not selected, then select the desired width and spacing between the columns from Column Number, Width and Spacing lists. In Apply to drop-down list, select this point forward option to apply this effect in the document from current position onwards or else select whole document. If line between option checkbox is selected, then a line will be visible between the columns in the document. Click on OK. Thesaurus Microsoft Office has some features that help you to look up for meanings Synonyms, word with similar meaning, for a given word. One of these features is thesaurus. The basic function of thesaurus is to look up synonyms for a particular word. It is just like a dictionary and can be used for replacing a word with one of its synonyms. Follow these steps to use the thesaurus in MS Word 2007. Select the word for which you want an alternative word.
Click on the Review tab Proofing Group. Thesaurus option. The research task pane appears. The search for field displays the word you have selected for the search for field displays the word you have selected and for which you want another word. It also contains the drop down list of all reference books. Hence, Thesaurus English United Kingdom is selected. Below it, a list of the suggested synonyms appears. To use one of the words, point to it. Click the down arrow key. Click insert or copy from the drop down list. Borders and Shading MS Word allows users to add borders and apply shading options to a page and the selected text. A border is a line or a pattern surrounding the page or a cell in the margin area. You can set that help you to look up for meanings, synonyms, word with similar meaning for a given word. One of these features is thesaurus. The basic function of thesaurus is to look up synonyms for a particular word. It is just like a dictionary and can be used for replacing a word with one of its synonyms. Follow these steps to use the thesaurus in MS Word 2007. Select the word for which you want an alternative word. Click on the Review tab Proofing Group. Thesaurus option. The research task pane appears. The search for field displays the word you have selected for the search for field displays the word you have selected and for which you want another word. It also contains the drop down list of all reference books. Hence, Thesaurus English United Kingdom is selected. Below it, a list of the suggested synonyms appears. To use one of the words, point to it. Click the down arrow key. Click insert or copy from the drop down list. Borders and Shading MS Word allows users to add borders and apply shading options to a page and the selected text. A border is a line or a pattern surrounding the page or a cell in the margin area. You can set the text apart from the rest of the document by adding borders and shading. Applying Shading The steps to apply shading to a page in MS Word 2007 are given here. Select the paragraph where you wish to apply shading. Click on Page Layout tab, Page Background Group, Page Borders option. The Borders and Shading dialog box opens. Click on the Shading tab. Select the color of your choice in the Fill section. Select the appropriate options from the Style and Color drop-down lists in the Patterns section. Select the desired option from the Apply to drop-down list in Preview section. Click on OK. Removing Shading The steps to remove shading from a page in MS Word 2007 are given here. Select the paragraph from where the shading has to be removed. Click on Page Layout tab, Page Background Group, Page Borders option. The Borders and Shading dialog box appears. Click on the Shading tab. In the Fill section, Click on No Color option from the drop-down list. In the Patterns section, select Clear option from the Style drop-down list. Click OK. Page Setup and Margins Page margins are the blank spaces near the edges of the page. Text and graphics are normally confined or set over the printable area inside the margins. However, 
some items can be positioned on the margins. For example, headers, footers and page numbers. You generally work using the default page margins, but you can alter them using the following steps. Click on Page Layout tab, Page Setup Group, Page Setup Dialog Box Launcher. The Page Setup Dialog Box appears. It has three tabs, Margins, Paper and Layout. Select the Margins tab. In the Margins tab, in the Margins section, select the desired option from Top, Bottom, Left and Right. Lists to increase or decrease sizes of the four margins. Gutter. List to add extra space to the side or top margin of a document you plan to bind. A gutter margin ensures that text does not hide due to binding. In the orientation section, select Portrait option to print the document vertically. Landscape option to print the document horizontally. In the Pages section, select the appropriate option from multiple pages drop-down list. Normal option for getting the normal document. Mirror margins option for setting the facing page in a document such as books, magazines, etc. Two pages per sheet option for printing two pages on a sheet. Book fold option for creating booklets with the specific number of pages. In the preview section, select either of the options from apply to drop down list. The whole document option. This point forward option. Click on default button to reset the default values for the page margin. When you click on this button, then you will get the Microsoft Office Word dialog box. Click on Yes to apply the default settings. Click on OK for applying these changes in the current document. Applying built-in styles. Styles are used for formatting the text in MS Word. A style is a set of formatting instructions. In MS Word 2007, you have a number of built-in formatting styles. If the available styles do not match your requirements, then you can create your own style. The general idea is to modify